Hi, I'm Dr. Will Brown, and I'm going to talk to you about the Solar Art Kit. So, the sun is the star at the center of our solar system. The sun is 109 times larger than the Earth and primarily consists of hydrogen and helium gases. We feel the heat energy of the sun when we walk outside, and it's hot even though the sun is 93 million miles away from the Earth because the core of the sun is more than 98 million degrees. Wow, that's hot. The sun is essential for life on Earth, and just as plants need the sun to grow, humans and other animals need it as well. While we need the sun, we all need to protect ourselves from its strong ultraviolet radiation, which can cause sunburns. People of all complexions need to practice sun safety because the sun's ultraviolet rays can harm us all. Like humans, animals need protection from the sun too. Turtles wear their shells like a shirt. Its skin can't be burned if it's not exposed to the sun, right? And pigs cover themselves in mud as sunscreen. For this activity, the goal is to determine whether lotion or sunscreen protects your skin better from harmful UV rays. By completing this activity, you will see how sunscreen can block ultraviolet rays while creating your own piece of solar art. So, you will need a piece of red construction paper, plain lotion without sunscreen, and sunscreen lotion with at least a sun protection factor or SPF of 30 and, of course, a bright sunny day. On the corner of one piece of construction paper, write lotion and on the other piece, write sunscreen. If you only have one piece of construction paper, you can write both words at the bottom of the piece of paper. Just one is fine. Next, Rub plain lotion on the palms of your hands, including your fingers, and wait 30 seconds until the lotion is completely absorbed. You should just barely be able to see the lotion on your skin. On the red construction paper labeled lotion, carefully and firmly press your hands onto the paper, making sure to press all your fingers and your palms. Next, wash your hands with soap and water to remove all the lotion and dry your hands well. Repeat the process using sunscreen and the red construction paper labeled sunscreen. Then, find a sunny place outside. Make sure the spot you choose will be in the sun for several hours and won't be covered by shade. You can use rocks or other small objects to anchor the paper to keep it from blowing away. Place your construction paper in the sun for at least three to four hours. After the wait is over, Go look at your papers. You should notice that the sun's UV rays have faded the color of the red construction paper, but the area that was protected by the sunscreen still has the original bright red color. 